Welcome to the Grisman, and I'll be your host, Jonathan. If it's your first time joining in, thank you, and if you're a return visitor, I really appreciate you coming back. Today we'll be using what's left of my CO Bigelow Shave Cream. This is made exclusively by Parasso, kind of says on the top here. Made exclusively by Parasso for CO Bigelow. So it's basically branded uh, Parasso. Uh, CO Bigelow is a US-based products company. Um, it's Parasso Green. It's just branded as uh, sold in by CO Bigelow. I got a couple of these. Um, Bath and Body Works, if you have one in your town, usually they're in like the mall. Uh, they sell them. I got buy two, get one free. I have a couple more boxes left, but this tube's almost done. I hadn't used it in a while, and I thought I wanted a, a nice cold, coolish, not cold, I guess, Parasso Green Eucalyptus Scent type shave. So. I'm gonna do a quick lather because it doesn't take long. I just put a little bit in the bowl, size of a nickel maybe. Squeeze all the water out of my brush. all nice and loaded. Add a little bit of water in there. Doesn't look like much, but if you put just a little bit of work, it'll it pops right up. I do know I went by my Bath and Body Works a month or two ago. I was in the mall doing something else and I stopped in. Thought I'd see if they had a cell or something. And they don't carry the, my local one anyways doesn't carry it anymore. At least they didn't have any on the shelf. Maybe they were out. So well, next time I run out, I'll probably just have to go buy some online and have it shipped. Every once in a while I see Parasso products at a... Uh, like TJ Maxx or like apartment stores. You got a tube of Prosso blue, and then you get a tub of Prosso red from there. I'm gonna add a little bit more water. Also the classic. Works great, inexpensive. I think these were the CO Bigelow was ten bucks a tube. Um, but I, when I got it, it was on a sale. Buy two, get one free. So I bought three. I still have two left. <laughs> All right, I think that's good. I could probably add more water, but we'll leave it right there. I'm gonna wet the base real quick. into the lather bowl. When I first tried CO Bigelow, I wasn't, I never really used anything with uh, eucalyptus scent and I wasn't a huge fan like right off the start. It's very undecided. Eucalyptus is a very unique and a very strong scent. Not much subtle about eucalyptus. But now I quite like it. It's grown on me a lot. The brush I'm using is a Zingari Man special edition brush. Uh, it was made by Turn and shave. Um, they did, or I think they still do. They work with different brush artisans and they do these special edition runs. 
This one was by Turning Shape. I think they've done ones with Chisel and Hound, and I think another one I don't remember. I haven't looked over a while since they've done any new ones, but. I bought it because I like the green. My favorite color. And it's a good brush. It's got a turn and shave tip knot in it as well. For the razor, I'm using something I borrowed or got on loan from Scott. This is a. Uh, Gillette 7 o'clock made in England it's got a, a ball and handle it says Laurel Sheffield on the bottom of the ball I was looking it up online there's like 12 or 14 different variations of this basically a, a new style razor I have a flat bottom made in England new I've got a, a Vosh hot in there, first use. First impressions are very mild. I kind of expected it to have more play through. When I load it in, I don't know if you probably can't see it, but the, there's not a lot of bend in the blade. It's fairly straight. There's some blade exposure, but. Kind of got to ride the cap a little bit just to maintain contact with the blade. It's got a pretty narrow a narrow angle of attack, if you will, as far as a workable angle. Quite smooth. Scott has got a metric ton of razors that guy collects, and he does a really good job of hunting stuff down. I think I have only a couple made in England or a few. They'll work with a lot of overseas shipping stuff. Kind of reminds me, I don't remember what number it is. I have a two piece Gillette and this green big white case. It's made in England. I actually found this one on Facebook. It was like an hour and a half away, and I got them to mail it up to me so I didn't have to make the drive, but I would have made the drive. Um, but a made in Britain, kind of a flat bottom, slightly different design. Um, this one's a two piece though. Be right back. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, two-piece Gillette's. Um, but similar design as a new. I actually plan on setting this one in for a uh, replate because I think it's just an awesome razor. I didn't even know there was a, a two-piece TTO Gillette like that until I found this one. But the shave is kind of similar. The head shape is very... The top cap's a little bit different, but uh, it's a pretty similar design. I like that Horasso green. It's got a nice cooling effect on the face. So, a really good first cut. I found a second pass with these. The soap is always a lot cooler than the first.
Let's brush it a little bit. It's got a lower density. No, that's not the word I'm looking for. A lower loft. Uh, it was preset. Uh, I assume by Turn and Shave when they made the custom razor. So it's got quite a lot of backbone to it. Just enough splay. If it was any any deeper, I probably wouldn't like it. Alright, pass number two. making noise if you heard her. She's pretty quiet though. I woke up a little early. I thought I'd get the shave done before she woke up, but I guess not. My four-year-old has been getting up at the crack of dawn recently. She woke up at six, which is when I'm trying to still get out of bed. And of course she wants to go downstairs. And... No. <laughs> chill out and wait a little bit. We're gonna buy her one of those alarm clocks that has a like a colored light on it so if it's red they got they know it's time to stay in bed and if it's green then they can get up. That way if she wakes up super early she knows it's not time to start running around making noise. It may or may not work. But right now up in North Dakota that sun is rising pretty darn early, and she's like, oh, the sun's awake, I'm awake. I'm kind of wondering how this is going to end up. It's so smooth. I'm a little worried it won't be efficient. Kind of hard to tell though. We'll see at the end of the next pass. Final pass. That's still pretty smooth.
is quite smooth, even against the grain. It feels like it's cutting really well. Feels like a pretty good shave. That's actually a really good shave. It's really, really smooth. All touch ups. Alright, touch up down. Excuse me. And we do a cold water rinse and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Thanks for sticking with me. The Gillette 7 o'clock. I gotta say, I'm really impressed. I, it felt like it was gonna be really mild. It was pretty efficient. I mean, it's not like Rex level efficient. There's still a little bit left. But it was, it's a really good shave. I liked it. Uh, post shave. Oh. I don't have a a matching Presso Green post shave. I was thinking about buying one. Um, I'm gonna use Oleo's number 11. It's a barber shop, if you can tell by the label. A nice barber chair there. Well, I mean, everyone's got their take on a barber shop, right? I wouldn't. It doesn't smell like a traditional barber shop to me. It smells kind of like a cologne scent. I think they changed their name. They're not Oleo anymore. They're Chicago Grooming. I hope I got that right. I don't know if they were bought out by another company or they were just rebranding. I know they make a lot of stuff other than just shave soaps. Let me check out their website a couple times. I got the Oleo in a, a trade. I don't remember what I traded for it, but. 
I think I'm also, I don't need a bomb. I think you know, that was really a nice shave. But I kind of want to keep this, uh, this nice cooling menthol kick going. And I got a little bit left of the Duke Cannons bomb, which is one of the better if you're, uh, you know, looking for something off the shelf. Kind of the Parasso or the CO Bigelow I got was off the shelf. Locally, the, the Duke Cannon is pretty widely available. It's a nice bomb. It's got a bunch of good stuff in there. We've got a little bit of menthol as well. It's only lightly scented, so the scent of the oleo should stick around, and the scent of the bomb should disappear in a second. I'll get that nice menthol kick. It's nice, it's refreshing. That was it for the shave though. Gillette 7 o'clock. That was a good razor. Thanks, Scott, for letting me borrow that. Oh, that was the wrong one. Gillette 7 o'clock. That was my uh, two piece Gillette. Gillette 7 o'clock with the ball in, Sheffield handle. Great razor. It was a really fun shave. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you like the video, hit the buttons. Hit the subscribe if you want to keep coming back and get notifications. And if you have any ideas for future content or if you have any feedback, hit me up in those comments. Let me know. Thanks. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Have a good day.